Hello, myself Chira Kalodia from BH Gardi College of Engineering and Technology. Here today uh, I will explain advanced computer network topic. Uh, yes, uh, define switching, types of switching, and packet and cell switching techniques. Now, first, first of all, what is switching? Switching, what is switching? Switching is called one type of device that can select one condition from two or more condition. Uh, the another way we also call say in large network there are multiple paths between sender and receiver but also be one to another using switch information may be switch different communication channel now next types of switching technique there are mainly four types of switching techniques are available in the computer network first one circuit switching second one message switching third one packet switching and fourth one cell switching first circuit switching now you can see over here the diagram of circuit switching now yes this is the circuit switching first in this techniques one node directly connected to sender and the receiver is an unbroken path now you can see over here one three and five are the unbroken path in this technique one dedicated path is exist between the both ends until the connection is terminated now also you can take the example of mobile phones uh, when you call your friends to uh, talk something and when uh, at that time one dedicated path is existing between uh, your mobile phone to your friend's mobile phone okay now next next is message switching now the message switching technique is also useful in computer network in this techniques there is no need to establish a dedicated connection now you can see over here not a dedicated connection there are the intermediate switching devices are also available in between the sender and receiver so there is no need to establish a dedicated path between two stations when sender sends a message the destination address append to the message now you can see over here sender sends the message and destination address will be available here this is the destination this is the sender message transfer in network from node to node you can see over here one message transfer to this switch then another switch then also pass to the destination it is also called store and forwarder now you can see the message uh, reach over here at uh, this switch particular this switch store the message and forward to the another switch again this switch also store the message and then forward to the final it means the destination now the third technique third technique is packet switching technique now you can see over here first the animation yes red blue and green uh, from source to destination it reach at the uh, destination from different different paths from the network now you can see over here data are transmitted in short blocks you can see over here there are the short blocks red green and blue called packets maximum size of packets is thousand bytes the one is the maximum packet is thousand bytes thousand bytes and also thousand bytes if sender has longer message to send it un uh, broken into series of packets now you can see over there are the 10 mb data it is converted into thousand bytes of packet and then it will be sent to the destination each packets contain user data and some control information the packet this packet has contained uh, user data it means the information of the user and also control information in which path they will reach at destination Control information have destination address where to deliver the data. Now it means this particular uh, uh, packet has one control influencer in which on which path they will pass from source to destination. Okay, now this is the four, uh, now next is the fourth technique. Four technique, cell switching. You can first over here see the animation. Uh, first cell is second cell, then third cell. Cell one, cell two, and cell three. Now this is uh, A is the sender, C is the receiver. This both are DTE device. It means the cell switching works same as the packet switching techniques, but it uses small fixed length cell for transfer the data. It is mostly used in ATM networks. This particular switching cell switching technique is mostly used in uh, ATM network, and the um, uh, maximum size of cell is 53 bytes, not more than that. Cell switching can handle multiple data types. It means voice and video data you can share also here or voice and video data from source to destination now the next next is packet switching techniques 
there are basically two packet switching techniques are available first one is the datagram second one is virtual circuits now uh, first we learn datagram virtual circuits some we have some basic uh, about switching techniques it means packet switching techniques station writes longer messages into packets we also already learn in the particular packet switching technique second one packet sent at the at, at a time to the network all the packets sent at a time into the network now third one packet handle in two ways first one is datagram and second one is virtual circuits these are the mainly two techniques used in packet switching techniques first datagram in datagram each packet treated independently all the packet are put on the network but all are uh, treated as independently next packet can take any routes now you can see over here uh, packet 1 is go over here packet 2 is go over here and reach at the destination packet may arrive out of order it means first to reach packet 1 then packet 7 then packet 5 then packet 2 and anything in the order packet may go missing yes also packet may go missing up to receiver to reorder the packets and recover from missing packets from the sender next next technique is virtual circuits in virtual circuit there are one dedicated path is also available you can see over here in the figure a source and destination this is one particular path and all the packets uh, passes from this particular path dedicated path one pre-planned route is established before the any packets are sent yes first sender establish the particular uh, sorry dedicated path and then all the packet put on the network all the packets follow the same route each packets contain vci vci means virtual circuit identifier next if two station wish to exchange the data over the extended period of time the network may provide service to the virtual circuit there are one disadvantage of virtual circuits is that if one node fell in the virtual circuit all virtual circuits that pass through that node are lost it means over here all the packet pass through this node and this node is break it means all the packet are missing yeah now thank you for listening the video